people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pase, what they do. Now the thing that is popping in the news is that we saw that some politicians, some MPs who are speaking about some members of parliament are complaining that the wages that they are currently getting is not up to par, it is not sufficient. And some of them even had the audacity to say that they want a 100% increase. Now people, let me ask you this question. How ridiculous, how presumptuous does that sound to you? Because it sounds like some of these politicians have actually fallen and hit them head, or fallen and hit them head, point blank and period. Now, if them want a raise, we need to ask them some questions. And people, I am going to pose these questions to them. Question number one. If Jamaica was run like a corporation, we are talking about a business, we would have been bankrupt. We would have been extinct from back in about 1980. People, the point that I am trying to make is that we would have to file chapter 11. We are talking about bankruptcy, point blank and period. And the truth and the fact is that if Jamaica was actually run like a business and persons were paid on a commission basis, we are talking about paid for performance, paid on a performance basis. Most of these politicians, most of these MPs would make below the poverty line. They would make below minimum wage. Because just based on their performance since about 1980, and we see that Jamaica's economy has plummeted very, very bad. Because if we look at the US dollars versus the Jamaica dollar right now, it is one for 142 plus people. That is not good business sense. People, they are running this business down to the ground. The next question I want to ask these politicians are MP. Are the residents in your constituency, are they living in object poverty? Are they living below the poverty line? Are they afforded the bare necessities? I am speaking about running water. I am speaking about proper roads without some big old pothole that looks like the moon, that looks like some crater upon the moon. Are they getting proper health? We are talking about hospital. Are they getting proper policing? We are talking about security. Are they getting proper education? Is it below par? Do they have to pay for education? Is the tax dollars that are being paid by these persons that are living in Jamaica, the citizens we are speaking about, the legal law abiding citizens? Are they being used for the proper thing? Are they implemented properly? If the answer is no, you can't get a raise. Next question to see if you qualify for a raise. Is the persons living in your constituency, are they frustrated by poverty? We are talking about object poverty. Are they living like puss and dog? Is crime running rampant in your constituency? And if the answer to that question is yes, that means that you guys do not qualify for a raise, point blank and period. Next question. When was the last time that you or any of your members of parliament, any politician, did anything to improve or vastly improve the living conditions of the persons living in your community? If the answer is I don't know, you still can't get no raise. Now the next thing that I heard that sounds very ridiculous is one politician or one MP claim that he spends in excess of $150,000 just pan gas. Now people, you understand this channel. You understand that I'm all over Jamaica. We are talking about from Kingston to Ocho Rios to Montego Bay to Negril. And people, I don't spend $150,000 on gas. Point blank and period. And when we think about the situation with these politicians or MP. They are always MIA, them missing in an action. The only time that these persons ever see them is when election time are run and they are selling all sorts of scam and promises. 
people the truth and the fact is that these politicians are missing in action they are out of sight it is as if they've been abducted by aliens never to be found or never to be seen until election time comes now the next ridiculous thing that the mp said or one of the mp said is that he needed 100 percent raise people is as if he does not see the situation in jamaica doesn't he see that jamaica is a poor country and the truth and the fact like i said before if jamaica was a corporation it would have been extinct from about 1980 and the only reason that jamaica is not on the extinct list is the fact that they are selling out everything because of desperation. We are talking about prime real estate. We are talking about beachfront property. We are speaking about a lot of our natural resources. Most of these things are owned by foreigners. Most of these things are sold out by the government of Jamaica because of bad debt, because of trillions of dollars that are owed because of billions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of US dollars that are owned to other countries. We are speaking about foreign countries. We are talking about first world country. And I am also speaking about China, which is our latest pimp. And the next thing that a politician or MP actually had the audacity to say is that it takes favors from other persons we are talking about construction companies we are talking about business now people i wonder if this politician understand that that is a conflict of interest i wonder if this politician understand that that means he is taking bribes he is for the taking he has his hands out and he has to do other favors in return to these persons or these corporation point blank and period does he understand the meaning of conflict of interest does he understand the ethics and morals of being a politician i guess he does not so people no raise point blank and period and this is even a better question that i am posing to this mp when was the last time since 1980 that any politician has done anything economically educational wise or health wise i am speaking about that basically helped or significantly increase the livelihood of any person in jamaica when was the last time that any of the leading parties we are talking about jlp pnp or any politician was not involved in corruption or bribery or some sort of scam and sham if you don't have the answer if you can't name one person no raise and when we think about how ridiculous this whole thing sounds, it is even more disturbing due to the fact that the politicians are the ones that are making laws to determine if politicians get a raise. Now, people, if that is not a conflict of interest, where is the independent body that says that monitors Jamaica politician and see if their work is up to par? Where is the independent commission that determines which politician is doing good, which politician is doing bad, which politician is corrupt, which politician is actually getting paid or working for what they are getting paid for? People, the moral of the story is that it is a conflict of interest. The moral of the story or the point is that they are getting paid and they are underperforming. So the point is that they are getting paid more than they deserve and their performance is woefully inept. It is below par. It is in the basement, point blank and period. So when we listen to these politicians make these speech or make these comments, we have to understand that they don't have a conscience. We have to understand that they feel entitled as if they feel like they are doing such a great job and they should be rewarded with a bag of money and a bag of perks. People, the truth and the fact is that most politicians, and I am speaking about at least 90%, they are some bums. They are irresponsible. They are negligent. They are very incompetent, point blank and period. So anyway, people, like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.